And he said, what, where are your developers? I want to connect to your developers. I said, not many people around here. It's three of us, that's it, four of us. <laughs> you want to join? Um, so, okay. So here's talktime.diglab.coop uh, running on production, running on uh, Zeit. Um, and it's good, you know, I, I haven't had a problem with that. Um, and uh, the question to me is uh, maybe we should also run diglav.coop on site, right? Yeah. Um, the, the question that comes up to me is, of course, the pricing model that they have, right? If we, if we were to do this, um, I mean, they're very generous, again, with their free plan. Um, but there is a limitation to, wow, look at this, 100 gigabytes. Yesterday, I thought it was 150. I forgot, 100, 150 gigabytes. So that's the limit um, in terms of downloading um, downloading um, the code um, and uh, and have that you know displayed. And 100 gigabyte. I mean, you know, I, I estimated uh, our website is maybe 10 10 megabyte code for the initial download until your browser starts to cache this stuff. Um, and then that gets into the a couple of thousand downloads a month. You know, I think it's still well within the range. Um, we wouldn't hit any any barriers, limitations um, in terms of bandwidth. Um, I don't know what the other metrics are here. I'm, I don't think um, there'll be other limitations here. So we could, I mean, we could use that for production too. Um, if, if we don't go the other route, Jim, to somehow copy paste the source code um, to, um, to our own server. So that's, that's where I'm at now. Um, you know, either, either put it on, on uh, sites or alternatively, what's neat too, um, they recently, um, yeah, in Code Sandbox, um, they recently integrated also Net Netlify. Um, see that that's a service that's in beta right now, and Netlify is, I think, it's almost identical to to now, right? Um, so you can do the same thing here, deploy it directly, and then you can visit the site and the uh, the log files, and then I've tried that here too. So you can you deploy it to Netlify and then. Let me see if I click on this link. Yeah, I think I did it to the same site. That might even be coming from Netlify now. Um, so the the staging site again. Um, and they have they have actually 150 gigabytes um, uh, limitation to bandwidth cost. So that's that's another option. Um, so out of uh, these three here, right, using now, using Netlify, using um, using uh, our own box, um, what, 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 what should we do here? Well, um, I was uh, in the process here of uh, uh, Testing a tool. Uh. And, uh, Did you want to see your screen, Jim? Yeah, well, I, I guess I'm using the Windows interface here. It also has a command line interface, which we can use to automate the process. Um, this is interesting. You can schedule the transfers.
And, uh, What's that called? It's a, it's a website copier. Okay. Uh, we got, got an error. I don't know if I did something wrong. Click here. Well, I didn't. Let me see if I can do it again. The view log file. Um, ah. Okay, it looks like my problem was I didn't put HTTPS. So how do I do this? I want to do project name, legalize.coop, HTTPS. How do I edit this? Uh, I don't see how I can edit this. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll just make a new one for now. Big life two. That co op. Life. Maybe if I just hit next, it would have worked, huh? Let me try. Next. Okay. Oh, here you go. HTTPS. <laughs> next. Finish. Okay, so this is picking up all the files. Sweet. And there it is. It's running on my PC. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> okay. Is there anything I should test? <laughs> wow. Do the um, click on the so thing it, on the right side. In, in about, That's it. Yeah. <laughs> in about a second, it copied the whole thing. So. Uh, uh, we could have a copy on a schedule to production. Um, it would be good if we had a way for, you know, for you to trigger it before you do it. The way that we, the way that I normally do that is with web, webmen. But I've been having some trouble with Red, uh, Webman. Uh, 
Um, So what it seems to be working right now. Okay, which is uh, a console for the machine. I know you don't like the command line. <laughs> uh, so under others here, we have uh, custom commands. And uh, you can create a custom command here for uh, updating, uh, updating production from Z. Or we could have it done on a schedule. You know, I don't, I don't know. The thing is, you, you sort of want to make sure, we sort of want to make sure that it's working and staging before we, uh, before we uh, update production. Right. Yeah. Of course. Um, so, wait. Uh, help me understand this, Jim. Um, the the web copy thing was that running locally on your Windows machine there, or that is that Windows machine? Yes. Okay. Okay. But... So you have to do that on your machine. No. 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 Lin I, I use a, a Linux version. Oh, here you go. I see. I mean, it runs on Android, Linux, Windows. <laughs> and, you know, it, uh, it has a command line interface in addition to this graphic interface that I'm using. Right. So what you could do in your, in your Win admin thing is to set up a, a command um, that does the copying. Right. Right, we set From, up a command here, so you would just log in to webmin and and run the custom command. Right now there are none, but there would be one here. Update <laughs> big like that co-op from staging. Oh, I see. And it would yep. uh, it would run the the uh, the uh, HT track command. I mean, I see. I mean, it's a very powerful command that would do all kinds of. It would. It, it does schedule commit schedule updates and everything by itself. But uh, we probably want it to be manual. I mean, as long. I, lo I mean, I love it. Um, it's. It seems really fast, you know, to copy that over. In, in your case, from the local machine to the server. Um, right. So, so if we can have it, you know, configured, so that's there's, there's there's one thing you have to run manually. I mean, essentially, run the command, um, and and uh, that's that's good enough. I mean, that's the same thing I would do with uh, with Tide uh, by logging into you know, my my thing and then uh, and then creating the alias. Uh, that's the same same thing. Maybe even easier with your command. Hmm. What's, um, the, what's the advantage of running staging and in you know, production as well? Is it just in case a change breaks something or? Yes, yeah. um, because I'm making so many changes, you know, um, that I, I need, a, I need a, a space in between where uh, I let it run for a few days, ask some people to do the checking, you know, do some, some testing. Yeah, um, and then and then once I see it's 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 still stable enough, then then go to the next you know step. The the other advantage, Adi, is um, that I can preview new features you know for certain people, and then see if they like it that way. And if they don't like it, then I can still make modifications to the code before everybody else sees that. Ah, uh, yeah. So there's some good advantages using a staging side. And the dev side itself, um, I can't share that um, because there are just too many modifications and it's not up and running all the time. Um, yeah. So, so it's not a good demo side, right? 
or staging could be a good I mean, we could even do another one, like a demo for, for future features, right? That don't go into the production side um, anytime soon. So you just um, uh, open up another another subdomain. That should be fairly easy. Is that the magic command, Jim? <laughs> uh, this is, uh, actually, I'm just downloading it. So wait, it. this is your server. Can we do the same thing on uh, the DigitalOcean server? Uh, this is the DigitalOcean server. Oh, it is? Oh. On, on robot.net. I see, I see. No, you know, I was just take, I just ran, ran it on my machine to see if it worked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now uh, I'm uh, installing it in here. And I guess I have to look at the README. HTML contains the documentation. <laughs> um. I don't think we need Looks any powerful. Uh, okay, so <laughs> we need the documentation. We need, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, uh, a uh, symbolic link. Um, And let me do a var www push html. ls dash ld dot. See if I, oh, I don't have permission to write this, do I? Um, um, I'm going to, uh, uh, so do Change the owner. The big life. Oh, slash var slash www slash html. Html. And I put in our password we share and big life doesn't have sudo currently on the so probably add that um so uh so we want to do it a, a link symbolically uh, will be big life back HTML we want to we want to link that to uh, HTML 
track. Okay. And now we have uh, HT track here. Because we don't need these avatars. I got I pulled out all our avatars for uh, for Robert at one point. We needed our avatars, but then he got them. Um, Uh, so we can uh, uh, go to uh, robot.net. Slash HT track. And we should have the documentation. <laughs> wow. Magic, magic links. Yeah, symbolic linking is a way we can put stuff on the website real easy. Um, How not to use it, okay. <clears throat> Batch files. That's it. Yeah. Examples. Yeah, examples are always good. Oh, gee, that looks real hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it gets complicated. Look at the next one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. Well, all else we want to do, oh, how do you get one single file? Oh, how do you get all the files on the website? How does search? I just want. What do you get? This really just want get one single file. Mm, keep scrolling. Is there more at the bottom for the page? No, oh, no, that's really it. This doesn't tell us how to get the website. I mean, could we change it to HTTP whatever forward slash star? Is there a simpler? Let me do a quick search here on the internet. Copy website. Or to run mirrors from a program. Let me see what happens here. Um, I'm going to make a directory test, GD test, and then I'm going to do a uh, HD track. Just going to type that. Oh. 
that's uh, in the wrong place. Uh, it looks like it didn't make it. There's a configure. Oh, there's an install. I read the readme, I didn't read the install. <laughs> That's last configure. Make the make install. And I uh, can ignore all the detail. As long as this works, we should be okay. What is you live? All right, but that was Zulu. That's uh, compression software, Zulu. Wait, where did we get this command from? I got it from this website. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. What was it? HTTrack.com. It was just the first thing that came up, and uh, I know there's a million tools like this. I wrote the I wrote tools like this myself back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. um and, but uh, so I just picked the first one that uh, Google came up with, figuring that that might be okay. But uh, we're missing. Um, okay, so this might not be the best tool to use. I'm just looking at the um, site or the link Yokeem provided. Um, looking at this, I think all you need to do is that's the that's the the thing made for uh, to download uh, the 
website? Uh, it's HT track, but it's got like a whole lot of um, options you can pass it on command line. But there's one that's literally mirror websites. Okay. Yeah, Jim, that's uh, he's looking at the manual. Yeah. yeah. They, they have a nice Unix manual page for that. Um, it's in the chat. I posted it in the chat here in Zoom. That's also coming off of the website. Okay. I guess we um, I mean, that says you just pass it a um, site directory and it'll mirror the site. So um, we got a problem with OpenSSL. I'm trying to figure out what, why we might have such a problem. So this, Jim, this happened, uh, you tried to install that tool, right? On our server there. And then uh, we run into this quirk, right? Right. Or is it over? It's not installed yet. Um, but Adi is looking at um, the uh, mirror command, right? Once it's installed, we can. Oh, uh, yeah, right. I thought it was installed for some reason. Um, so we can try this again. So there's uh, probably, there's probably. We're using OpenSSL, but we should be. Um, grab, in your case, OpenSSL. Uh, star, what the heck? Yes, LSSL. Yes, L crypto. So um, there's probably an option here to use OpenSSL. And open SSL lives. So it looks in crypto. It looks in dash SSL.
So they tried. It's actually in crypto. And it's X lib SSL. It doesn't find it. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Um. Well, there's an Ubuntu package. <laughs> oh, yeah, they have one there, right? The, the, the command right there. <laughs> that should work a little better. I figured uh, I should have looked down further again. <laughs> Firefox. <laughs> oh no. This could be a problem. I think it could, it may install. Web track is uh, probably. I don't know, is the name just different? We just always track. What about web HTTP track? Yeah, it may be the name was already in use, so they changed the name. Aha. It's launching a browser, spawning browser, no display environment. We'll try this. Should probably purge that other one. That installed. That's it. <laughs> Good, your life. Big life that co op base pair. Well, do we want to do this right to production or? Uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm still robot. Let me go back to big life. Uh, 
Um, now, do I just want to do do um, uh, do the command now? Sure. Why not? Uh, what was it? Uh, HT track. Uh, you should just you should just be able to put in um, HT track in the website. Didn't you say there was an option to copy the whole thing? Uh, the mirror website was the star mean. Um, the, de the default option is to mirror the side if you give it a link, but um, let's see what it does. Zero bytes. Uh, do you need two slash? You use one slash. Oh. But it's weird how it added primary in. Whoa, it's doing something. Yeah. It did it. So did it just put it in this folder or? Where does it put it? This folder by the look of it. Big light. There's a sauce in there. It called the, it called the, uh, Called the biglife.coop. Yeah, that's the concept. Oh, wow. Okay, well, uh, how do I tell it where I want it to put it? <laughs> hmm. Wait, wait. Let's let's try the same thing with the staging side. I mean, that's the one we wanted to put on Diglife, right? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's good point. Duh. <laughs> Oh, it's using the same directory. You have to clean that first. Because your project name is uh, the directory name. But I didn't give it a project name. At the beginning, uh, when you launch, oh, I don't know. Did you go to here? No, I got it out of that. that I got out of interacting. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's just doing it from a domain. So diglife.com. Um, just just delete the content and, and do it again. Delete uh, the Diglas or co-op thing. Um. But, Wait, uh, that's not our production site. <laughs> what? Oh. This is not our production site that you just deleted there, right? No. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in the HD track directory here. Okay. I'm running this again, and it still says that. Oh. Oh, it's talking about your current folder. So there's an HTS cache folder. You can see it's the bottom of the long list. Um, there must be an index.html in the same folder. There it is, right there. Oh, but why didn't they put it in a subfolder like it did before? I don't know. That's good. Do you want to just view the index.html and see what it is? Oh, uh, do I, I already have a test here? No. Here we go. Bam. Thanks for using HTT track. 
See, yeah, it looks like it's. Um, oh, I see. So it was complaining. Made a horrible file. It was con complaining about its files. Hmm. Oh. Now I don't know what the, what this What's is. What's that for? Um, right. Do you just do you want to cat the H in the index file and see what's on it? Yes. Oh, that's a splash page for that program. Yes. Just an HT track by the look of it. Well, let's. Uh, Meta. Uh, let us copy this whole thing. Um, I think just I don't think we need um, the other stuff. We just need the content in the staging folder. Right. Um, do a quick check. See what's inside that folder. Um, make sure we have the uh, the disk folder is in there for the uh, application. Um. So I removed all that stuff uh, since the documentation at the website seems to be better. Uh, oops. What are you doing? Okay, there's nothing here. And uh, then I'll do a uh, another thing here. I just wanted to see what was there. This is what it does. And uh, didn't I already get that? No. I lost it, whatever it was. Uh, Robot.net. Uh, HD track. No, I need to see. Ah, uh, same so, page. Okay, I deleted documentation. So why didn't you generate this? <laughs> that it's, I think it's regenerating. The index.html file we just looked at, um, that's, this, that's this thing here. Yeah. Ah. Do, do another thing. So go to HTT, you know, do slash um, staging, staging dot, uh, dot, uh, .co op. Dot, dot, not slash. I don't think that works. Yeah, it needs to be a dot. No, but it comes up with the site if you do that. Yeah, I just want to confirm that it comes up with the site. Right. I have been wondering, actually, you'd be able to answer it. What does the number in the bottom right corner mean? 95? The... Yeah. 
Is that like a version number or? No, no, that's uh, the current users in MetaMost, number of users in MetaMost. Oh. 95 already, cool. We're getting closer to 100. Okay. So I, I don't know why it generated all that. Um, so look. yeah, I mean, that works, look, right? So look at the options. To go to the manual page, um, yeah. that's oh, more yeah. informative. There's one, there's one option I didn't want to try. There is a path option. Read the documentation? No, 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 up, up there in the navigation. Go back or oh, closer. This and um, he linked it in the chat window. Manual, manual. I don't think the, I think the manual leads, leads you to the documentation. Oh, same thing. Um, just follow the link your team posted. Where did you see the options? It's, uh, in, the, go, it's in the chat. Go to I the mean, Zoom chat. The way we can, we can always get it with an HT track dash dash help. Probably. Update a mirror in the current folder. What's further up? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm looking at, pretty much. Except I'm looking at it in web page form. This is a lot of stuff. <laughs> Users, they see track URLs. Your websites. Just get files saved in the current directory. So this will run continuously and mirror the site. I guess that's not what we want. What do you mean continuously? I think this is just uh, you know downloading and uploading it at the same time. Doesn't it say continue an interrupted mirror? So something went wrong, you have to stop it, but that continues where it left off? Yeah. You know, mirroring, you know, we automatically mirror updates and stuff. We don't want, we want to do that. Would it? I thought it just mirrored it statically. They are the same directory. Wow. Important or dangerous option. <laughs> That's just uh, this option N for what what part of the website you want to copy or mirror. I think the mm -hmm. N zero there, N zero is what we want anyway. That's the default. Yeah. Well, uh, N100 without the WW domain. No, just N0, the one on top. Um, but that's the default. I don't think we want the WW domain. I mean, we could, but you know, uh, we, that would be a change. Yeah, it depends on what it's referring to. 
Um, I'd say a feature you do want is in user defined option in, which is now further up. You scroll straight past it. Um, scroll up a little bit. Um. Yeah, scroll up. Um. Um, keep scrolling. Option K, a little further up. A little further up again. There it is. So, um, percent P is path. It's in details, user defined option in. What? Oh, it's got a path setting, so you can probably specify where you want it. Where are you talking about? Uh, one line up. Yeah, there. I don't know how to do that. Let me just see what it does with the 100. I thought there was nothing here. Oh. It looks like it's going to do the same thing. Yes. What has it done? It's kind of just put everything there, right? But it hasn't copied any of the Oh, it's in the JS folder, right. So which is the right index? So I put the HT files in there and the website. Yeah, pretty much put everything in one folder. Index. That's the right one. Index two that HTML is the website. Jeez, how do you? And then this is the. So, um, what I can do is uh, link the uh, link the uh, subdirectory. Oh, I'm in the uh, www. That's why there was no test. And currently, what we have, what do we have? Um, I think we have the, uh, where are we serving the big life die co op from? Portal. Right? Yeah, from Portal. 
and uh, uh, so that's uh, where for, that's the uh, the root directory in our uh, nginx configuration. So I could make portal a symbolic link to wherever we we build it, right? Mm -hmm. and that should work. I think portal already has portal got files, or did we symbolic link that folder? That's I understand. That's the production side, right? Yeah. Oh, I got file in there too. Okay. I thought I remember we made a link somewhere to something, but I don't know what we linked. You want to try that, Jim? You can rename photo to something else, bring the website down, and then uh, create a, a symbolic link to this new directory. Um. So like move uh, portal to uh, portal dot back. That'll bring us down. <laughs> Not very nice, but <laughs> I hope you have uh, the symbolic link. You can type that in quickly. Uh, uh, semicolon. Here we go. Wow, command line expert. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I usually do and and if you think it might fail. The and and so that if, if the move is successful. Oh. <laughs> Then we, uh, LM. then we CD. Oh, and then we we run the uh, we run the. Uh, Uh, where is it? Did we just run it? Oh, we did this one, but that had the, uh, we don't want to do the M100. And and then we um, um do it. I just thought it was. All right, I sent a sheet. And if I end the line with and and, it should give me a continuation. Wait, wait, Jim, not don't hit enter. Um, the we need to create the symbolic link too, right? That's right. Okay, but uh, so you're suggesting that. I really should do this step first. You're right. Wait, what are we linking to what, sorry? So we're linking the portal folder to HD track. Whoops. Because I thought I thought that this outputs files wherever you run it from. So if we ran it in the portal folder, it would create it in the portal folder, right? We're running it in the home right now. Ah. Right. Okay, so um, we have a uh, So what do we have here? A 
of course, I goofed again because now I got the index that HTML there. It creates those dumb files. So when we rerun it, those dumb files are going to give us an error. And I made a mess putting those files there. Err. Um, okay, so uh, basically, I uh, what I need to do is build it and then remove all the files. How do I get Wouldn't you complain about those files existing? I was going to say, couldn't you just build it? and link the subdirectory, the staging.tagLife directory? Sure, we can do that. But what did I do? Oh. We have these garbage. The problem is when we run it again, okay, it's going to give us that error. And we have to, we have to, yeah, you can do enter. Uh, I don't think that's a problem. It's overriding the uh, index file. We right. don't need that so anyway. The command to automate it isn't going to, you know, we don't want to have that input step. So now it's creating that again, right? Okay, so, so I mean, so back that's, to staging. So that's fine, except for the fact that we had to do that input. Right, that may, may, may interrupt the command line. HTTP 1.0. <laughs> wow. This is an old program. A lot of the stuff I developed on the web was obsolete because it was all HTTP 1.0. Wow. <laughs> um, Continue. You can do something like slash slash continue. So mirror is the default. What's this get files? Maybe it's something flat directory structure or so. What happens if I... Uh...
Yeah, so you want to run it so it downloads the files only, right? Without that stupid other index.html file and the other files. Yeah. So you can actually go into the portal directory, run the file, and then you're done. Let me go in here. Oh, I don't want that either. I don't want to remove that. Where's that? Um, and this garbage here. I want to remove all this garbage that I put in here. LS-LTR is time reverse, so I can see all the stuff that we did today. Uh, big phone index H HTS. Uh, that gets rid of it all. I make a directory, H, the track, and this is where we're going to put it. And one of the things I can do is I can, I can always remove that and make it again. Hmm. That's true. Well, the the easiest would be you just go into the portal directory and and run the the command, right? Hopefully, without the other files that you just deleted. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the problem. We don't know how to do it without making these. So um, I can. Um, so this is the command we want to run, right? Hmm. But we we want to uh, we want to uh, do a uh, a CD change to home. We want to do a make dir. Uh, we want to do we want to do a uh, rm dash r ht track we want to cd the hd track track we want to run the command but Jim hold on a second there's there's a there's a, another option I'm thinking the dash dash update oh. that says updated in the current directory only maybe that omits the other crap. Try that. So after HT, HT track, too late. Yeah, you've got. I, um, I deleted the stuff, didn't I? You've got too many T's and too many A's in another one. Oh, geez. Well, how did I get an HT track? Cash back. What happened? Boy, I got all these things back. Yeah, because the command is correct. You still issued that command. Okay, because I had... Uh, what I have? I had... Uh, 
HT, I had too many T's, so it didn't change to that directory. Wonderful. Um, um, so yeah, the first one's got too many A's. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to do a bunch of me at a time. I'm going to try the update now. So yeah. um, I'll just do one. Uh, Fortunately, I need to go. So I'll leave you guys to it and um, we'll find out what happens later. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, Ari, for joining. So, see you guys later. See you. Okay, so this is where I'm going to type the command now with the update. Yeah, let's see. I think. Yeah, you can use this and then take out the G and then do update. Slash, slash, double slash update. Dash. And I have to take off the CD. I got a CD on this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see what that did. Like it worked, huh? Did I do that right? So far, so good. But let's see the um, the listing. Ah, same thing. Same thing. It's okay. It's okay. What we're concerned about is did it update state staging, and I think it did. Right. We just have to link this directory to portal. Yes. Are we missing something? No. I wanted to save one step, right? We don't need to create these other files that uh, right. HTT track is creating. Well, that's right? The problem was that it was interactive. Now, it does, now it's not interactive anymore. Well, that was, it was empty. True. Run it again. Run it again. It wasn't oh, okay. Work. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's good. That's good progress. Yeah. Yeah. So this will work. Um, so, uh, so. Oops. So we want to link this. You want to link symbolically. Oh, but now I have now I want to move now I want to move the portal and link this in one step. That's right, one step. <laughs> okay, so I'll go to uh, R W W L and then uh, here and then uh, I do. Move portal to portal dot back. And then uh, and then I want to link symbolically. This the portal. And okay. Hold on. So you see it? What? I didn't hit enter yet. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. So you see it? Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, I'll open, let me open it. Okay. Let me jump to the side. Works. Let me make sure this is the latest one um, because I made some changes. I can see that and it's got to be the one that we got from staging. 
No, it's not. This is what? weird. Um, what? Maybe uh, could it be cached? Do a shift reload? Yes, I cached it. Yep, you're right. It's the latest. Ta da! <laughs> All right. Okay, so cool. now we all, all we have to do now is um, put the command in for you to update it, right? And we're done. That's it. Right, right. Okay, and basically this has happened with the command. Wait, wait, you don't need this anymore, right? Because that's not changing. All oh, right. We just need this. The other command to uh, copy it. Uh, just the update command, right? Yeah. So we need uh, the CD slash home slash dig life. Slash HD track slash staging. Oh. No, no, don't don't go into staging. Um yeah, right. you run the command from the other director from the parent, that's right. Semicolon um and uh Uh, and then we, uh, let me just copy and paste. Yep, that one. Okay. And that will do it. That's right. So we go back to, uh, here we do a uh, create new custom command description update big life uh, go up from staging All right. And the command is paste. There's a typo in your description, uh, the end there. Staging. Okay. <coughs> Run in directory. Oh. I could put the directory here. Okay. Well, there's big life. Use user's environment. I'll say yes, because we tested it with the user environment. <laughs> <laughs> you mean outputs HTML? No. Hide command when executing. I command when executed. Maximum time to wait. Do we just do default? You want to say uh, 60 seconds? No. You know, that's just, it'll, you know. Uh, on the right side, Jim, there's another thing, the available to user min. 
Is that your webmin thing here? Available to user main. Um, I don't think we're using user main. No, it's something else. Oh, okay. User main is, you know, web main, you know, if you, if, uh, user main gives like an interface for ordinary users, whereas this is mostly mm -hmm. for system administrators. So if I didn't want to give you access to web main, I could give you access, I could make this available in user main. You know what I mean? Huh. User main, you don't get root except for what it allows you to do. Uh, Okay, so. Okay, you. Okay, it, you know, if we added parameters here, we could fill in parameters in the, in the command. But we're not doing that. Hmm. I don't know exactly how to do that. So let's just create this. Okay. Uh, create new. No, there's a button. I see that. There's a button there. Right. That's right. So if you click on that, it should run it, right? Right. It doesn't output anything, so it's not going to be too much, so it's not going to be very exciting. Oh, it does. Look. Confirmation done. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, now the other, I guess the other thing here is, uh, are you? Are no, you, I'm not. Are you? He's, you have permission to uh, to run webmin. You right. even have an account. I don't think so. Looks like you don't have an account. How'd that happen? <laughs> I guess that's. A good I don't. One. I guess the uh, the last one you were on was freetrust.net. Maybe. Um, why did Why didn't you just give me the dig live credentials and then I and then a link to this webman thing and then I can run it? Yeah. Well, I can. Uh, uh, I can go to Dig Life. Oh, yeah. No. Well, Dig Life doesn't have permission to run this. Yeah. Oh. I thought you run it as Dig Life, no? The command will run as Dig Life, but Webmin won't. Oh. Okay, and that's because he doesn't have sudo. So if we add sudo, then you can then then you then you can log in. All right. So now, big life should be in sudo where. I don't know, it doesn't show the group membership. He's in sudo. So you can try it. Uh, Robot.net colon 10,000. We didn't install 10, it. 10,000, okay. Yeah. So you'll have to, uh, you'll have to uh, take the exception. Or we probably should get around to installing the certificate. We have a certificate. You just have to install it properly. He's a robot.net certificate. Mm. 
Man, do you work? Colon slash slash. Ah, Mobot.net, 10,000 user admin. Okay, advanced, proceed. Okay, so I'm logging in as dig live, right? And then what's the password? Uh, it's, uh, we share, uh, but it's uh, W3SH at R3. W3SH R? At sign, at sign. R3. We share. Okay. W three S H at R three. Now we we could change it to the uh, the other thing by password. Right? D one G L one F three. Well, that's okay. Let's let's leave that. Um, so we don't have to talk tell the others. Okay. Yep, I'm in. Um, I'm in the webmin. Um, okay. It's so under where was that? Other. Others. Okay. Others. Command. Custom commands, and then update dig live. Okay. Let me run it. Yep. Works. Let me show you some show you some fun things. Fun little things about uh, about uh, webmin. Um, you can uh, go under servers. You can access the MySQL database server as a okay. pretty nice interface. Uh, Nginx web server. Uh, what happened? Oh. Uh, how come I didn't do it? Server, Nginx web server, MySQL database. So this shows you the, all your databases that you have. Oh, is that the Mattermost database? We have, we're running in production there. No, <laughs> this is actually oh. this is actually a copy of the. Uh, too many tables to display. What is this thing? <laughs> but th this is the old, the old uh, big life. Oh, I see. Okay, we put it, uh, we put it here for uh, Robert. We put it here for Robert to access. Um, well, I don't know why the NGINX web server is not working. That was pretty cool. I'm going to upgrade the webmin server. Hopefully that won't break anything. OK. Sounds good. Um, so I have the command now, and then um, I may make a few updates tonight before the, uh, the meeting tomorrow, um, because I do want to quickly show the dig live portal with some of the changes, like uh, moving the partners thing there. Um, and then we're good to go. All right. Thank you, Jim. That was very helpful. That's very cool. Save okay. a lot of dollars again. <laughs> so this webmin makes it so that you can, you don't, you hardly ever have to use the command line and you don't have to remember most of the Unix cryptic commands. Right which is something we can uh, actually install even on our cloud run machine. Uh-huh. 
You're right. That's a good idea. And, you know, Webmin is a panel. Um, but uh, it, uh, it doesn't interfere with ordinary things. You know? It has all kinds of modules you can do, install for almost anything, any purpose. Hmm. All right. So, yeah. Yeah, that may be a good idea. In the future, we can install that also on the Cloudron um, machine, and then we have that as part of the whole package, right? Yeah, you know, I don't know if we need it too much, but uh, actually the Nginx, we might want it for the uh, Nginx configurations. I don't know. I guess we can't, we're not, we can't really change those, can we? Uh, not too much. We don't want to break too much. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The Nginx web server configuration on this machine doesn't work. Boo, hiss. <laughs> One of your server package updates require a re re reboot. So I don't want to do a reboot right now. No. I have to remember all the things I need to restart. <laughs> all right, Jim. I let you go. You can fix your wife's uh, Windows machine now, right? It looks like she <laughs> must have been finished eventually. It was probably doing the file check and everything else. Right, right. Later. Bye. <laughs>